Welcome to Accounting 101 with Kyla. Today's lesson will be basic journal entry. So let's define first what is a basic journal entry. Journal entry is the first step in the accounting cycle. It is used to record business transactions and events throughout the accounting system. It is recorded in the general journal to show how the events change the accounting equation. The accounting equation would be asset is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. So we have here our first transaction. As you can see, there is a table and this is called the general journal. So we will explain what are the contents of a general journal. So we have the first column. This is the date in which you will write the date of the transaction. Of course, the description in which you will identify the accounts in the given transaction and of course the debit and credit um, it will be listed the amounts needed in each transaction so let's um, identify first the first transaction so here in our first transaction mr. J invested 100,000 pesos in his laundry business so first, let's identify what kind of transaction is this. So this involves cash and capital. Um, second one, let's analyze the accounts in the given transaction. So we have here cash. Since there is an investment of cash, um, the asset is going up as well as the capital. Since the normal balance of capital is credit. After we analyze the transaction, we are now journalizing um, number one. So we have here the date, January 1. So as we identify a while ago the accounts, um, we have to write cash in the debit side. So the first lines are the debit so we have here 100,000 since it's the debit the second one is capital since there is an investment of cash it will be credited to capital so we need to end then to identify which of the one of the two is the debit and credit so you right here and of course the explanation why is the account like this so we first we have to delete this so there you have it our first transaction so we have here our second transaction so in January 2, the owner purchased washing machines worth 8,500 pesos through cash. So, um, we need to do the three steps. So, the first step is identifying the transaction. So, this involves um, equity, equipment rather, since washing machines is acquired, and cash, since it is paid through cash. So, the second step is analyzing the transactions. So, since the equipment is acquired, it is going up since there would be new equipments used for the business. While cash, on the other hand, is going down. Why? Because the owner paid through cash. So there will be cash um, paid for the equipment. So now we will journalize the entry. So, in January 2, the date. Please remember to leave a space after the transaction. So, we leave a space here. So, we have here 8,500. And in on the credit side, don't forget to your con your intention cash. So as you can see, we have here two asset accounts. So if you remember the rules for debit and credits, if there is an increase in asset, asset rather, um, it is debit. But if there is a decrease in the asset, it is credited. 
So, explanation. There you have it, our second transaction. So, we have here our third transaction. On January 5, the business billed customers 3,500 pesos for services rendered. So, this means um, the business um, billed the customers. So, since you can see that our table is now full, um, we will proceed to the page 2 of our general journal. So, as you can see, our page number have changed from page 1 to page 2. So, we'll now start doing the three steps. So, the first step is identifying the transaction. So, this involves um, accounts receivable since the customers have um, services. And the second one is services fee for the services rendered. And now, we will analyze. So, we have here... Accounts receivable. Remember what I said a while ago that when the assets increase, they are debit. So this is going up. While we have the other one, services rendered. Um, if we have since. The is also going up since the services income of a business is increasing. So we start by journalizing the transactions. So we have here to verify. Um, so our debit would be accounts receivable. So we have here three thousand five hundred. The second one is services rendered. We have look here. Um, the explanation of There you have it, our third transaction. We have here our last transaction. On January 28th, Mr. J withdraw cash for personal use worth 22,300 pesos. So, we will do our three steps. So, let's first identify the transaction. So, Mr. J is withdrawing cash, so this involves cash and the drawing account. So now we will analyze the given accounts. So we have here our first account, um, drawing. Since the owner is getting cash, this is going down. And the normal balance for drawing or withdrawals is, cred is debit, rather. While the second account is cash. It is also going down since there will be cash that will be taken away from the business. So we will now journalize the entry. So we have here to mark 28. So we have here our debit drawing. Mr. J drawing. So since you have to remember the rules of debit and credits. So the, the drawing and its normal balance is debit. So we have here 22,300. While in the credit side, we have cash because of the money taken from the business. So we have here credit, 22,300. It is important to know the rules of debit and credit so that you won't get confused with journalizing the entries. So, so there you have.
have it are journal basic journal entries. Audio jungle. So let's have a recap of what have we learned a while ago. So we have here the three basic steps in doing a journal entry. So first, we have to identify the business transaction. So if you don't know how to identify the transactions, obviously you can record one. So after you have identified the business transaction, you are now going to analyze the transaction. So in analyzing transactions, you have to know the impact of the accounts in the transaction so that you can know how they change the accounting equation. Lastly, we have journalizing the transactions in the general journal. So we have the contents of general journal including the date, description, and their explanation. Of course, the debit and credit column. So I hope you enjoyed the simple tutorial we had a while ago. So for more information, you can follow me on my Facebook account Pilot.Husain and on my Instagram account JTY underscore Amor. So see you until my next video.